God protects me. Never doubt that, child. Bernard, this is Eivor, a friend. Go now and wash yourself. You've got more color on your shirt than on the canvas. He paints beautifully for a child, don't you think? It is clear from the subject choice that he admires his father. Bernard does not yet know Charles' dark side. Thankfully, the boy is more like his mother. Bernard is not your son. How could he be? Yet I love him as if he was. As I said, Charles and I were never that way. But he is a man and a king. Naturally, he found other places to satisfy his appetites. From that came Bernard. You're hiding the boy from his father. Charles wants Bernard to succeed him to the throne. And Bernard wants nothing else but to please his father. That is why I must keep Bernard from him. He will lead the child down a dark path. One not meant for a good king. My agreement with Charles was only to return with you. The child need not be involved. And I will not let him be. Bernard knows to find a church if he needs help and I am not there. I fulfilled our agreement. Here's your wife, the Queen. She is unharmed. Charles. My dear wife, finally, you appear before me. You must want for refreshment after your long and complicated journey. You are still angry. It is from nothing, Charles. I have been as faithful to you as I have been to God. I am sorry for taking Bernard, but... Ah, yes, my son. I thought by finding you, I would find him. But I do not see him. Where ah. is Bernard? Safe. <laughs> do you remember the night we met? I've never forgotten it. The sky was clear and awash with thousands of stars. And at our wedding, it was the same. I took it as a sign from God. <laughs> I knew you and I were meant to be. You were in white, all purity and grace. I thought, tonight, I am not the prince. I am the luckiest man alive. How lucky to take a wife who fell so easily into another's bed. You did not take me as your man, but as your fool. Charles, no. To our marriage. We had a deal. Oh. Do not be concerned about Bernard de Chardis. He is my son. Without your interference, he will find me. And you, northern devil, who presumes to sit at a negotiating table with a Frankish king. Here is your deal. You lied to me. I did not lie, Diable. I said God would make it so. And so he has. Kings, always saying what they do not mean, to get what they do not say they want. I failed to mention everything about Charles. I'm sorry. The truth is awkward, and I did not see the need. He believes you to be unfaithful. There is no end to his accusations. I hoped he had come to himself. Do you think he really meant to kill us? Yes. Now Paris will fall. Charles has made certain of that. Siegfried was right. Don't despise Charles. Like that bear, he may yet recover with God's help and become your ally. I do not share your faith in your God or your husband, but you carry both with a rare honor. Thank you. That is a high compliment. For my part, I don't think God has finished with you yet. We were meant to meet. Now, I must find Bernard. We will go to the Paris slums and aid the sick. Charles will not look for us there.
I must go meet Siegfried at the forward camp in Paris. I have a seat to prepare, and pride to swallow. God exalts the humble, Eivor of Ravenclan. You will see. Farewell for now. Won't be gentle if they spot me. Uh, pardon, friend. Did I hear you speak of a smuggler named Nolwyn? I did. That damn thief promised a jug of wine to guard her warehouse. Oh, and where is her warehouse? It's, uh, over to the east somewhere. Got a play cross painted on it. Thank you, my friend. Perhaps you should sleep it off before going back on guard duty. All right. Good idea. That smuggler owes me wine. Guard my warehouse, she says, and I'll give you a jug of wine. I have been guarding that pile of rocks for three hours already. Bring me my wine! Just you, Nolwen! You left the child of a Breton thief! Food, herbs, healing wraps. I wonder who these are meant for. Seems the Queen knows the smuggler. Maybe Rishadis can help me find Norwin. Let us pray in the wells of our Savior. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. A heathen monster, bearing weapons on our holy ground! A trusted friend. Good people, do not break the peace of our church. Who can trust a pagan diable? How many have you killed, fiend? Friends, remember. When the good Samaritan saw the beaten man, he had compassion and bound his wounds. You keep busy, Queen. Someone must tend to those who fall in battle. Plague did this, not war. War breeds plague, Eivor. I am not yet ready to return to Charles, if that is what brings you here. No. I seek a Breton who resides in this ward. Name of Norman. I know her! A freelance thief! A disreputable woman, although not without talents. To those who can pay. They say she can smuggle goods and messages over walls and past guards. Yes. So why do you seek this woman's help? I have urged the truce on all sides without success. But I can still try. But Siegfried the Frank killer leads this army, not you. He inflicts his vengeance upon us, town by town. Because the Franks killed his brother. How many Northmen must die so Siegfried can avenge one man? Should his niece die too? Should you? I cannot stop entire armies. Only urge reason and truth on all sides. I do what I can. You did save my life. I must take that first step and trust you. My good Samaritan. Thank you, Queen. I'm in your debt. I mean that. So, where is this Breton? Alas, I do not know. She visits from time to time. I know! I know the way to Norwin's hideout. Please, let me show Eivor! From the mouths of babes. Very well. But hurry back, little bear. Bonjour, my brave friend. But I do not have any silver. Hmm. I'm not here to take your silver. I have no quarrel with you. Praise the saints. And I thank you for your fine and timely blade. But I must go. No, you see, I'm a friend of Rishanis, Queen of Francia. And I am married to the Pope. Long may he reign. They say you walk through the city's walls. I need your help. I am no ghost. 
Just a simple bout from Brittany that has lost her way. Look, you are a smuggler. All of Paris knows it. Even the boy prince does. I need your help. And if I know a thing or two about all that, what is it worth to you? Is this enough silver to loosen your tongue? Ah, sweet silver. The bane of Judas. It will do. Silver makes fools of even the wise, and the rich make greater fools than the poor. All is well. So what do you need, Northerner? I seek a weakness in these walls. Is there a hidden tunnel, a secret door, something like that? No, no, not so simple. The Franks sealed the city well. But take this key. It will open the bridge door. The bridge? I can reach the bridge from outside. What I could use is a way to take it down. A little silver birdie told me that the bridge's foundations are in dire shape. I see. And if we can take that bridge down, the longships can encircle the city. You did not hear this from me. Farewell. Where is this bridge? It must be near. Summits to the verdant plains Each horizon is a newbie 